let's do this. For Die Hard. Theme. Let's roll. Yeah. What made you ready to revisit this character, Bruce? I could have retired undefeated. I could have just let the first three films hang out there, but I was never quite satisfied with the two middle films while they had a lot of great elements in it. Um, I always wanted to try and do a film that lived up to the promise of the first film, okay. um, which has always been my favorite and I think a lot of people's favorite. Um, it wasn't a jet ball. I, I can say this now, I can tell you. It was voted the number one action movie of all time, so now we really have to live up to something. But, um, and, and Len, I think, felt the same way, uh, that we wanted to get back to the first film, you know, to the, to the values of the first film. Okay, well, over to you, Len. Um, huge balls on your part in taking mm -hmm. this on. Were you not apprehensive at all, or were you just totally up for it? Yeah, I think the, 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 the the pressure and all that came later. The, the, the first instinct was, was kind of jumping into it blind, just out of, out of a, uh, a, like a, a, a kid's point of view of, of course, I've got to do. This is a, you know, Die Hard 1 was, was one of the films that, that, that uh, uh, inspired me to start my directing career anyway. So that was a no-brainer for me. And then once, uh, once getting involved in the reality of it, sure, there's the, you know, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's a huge film and it's a, uh, it's a, it's a massive franchise to, uh, uh, to jump on. But I, I really gotta say, I, I, I had such passion for the project and then once, you know, when I, when I read the script, there were things that, that I, I, I wanted to change. There were things that were, that I really liked about the Die Hard, especially Die Hard 1 as we talk. Mm -hmm. and, and when I sat down with Bruce, I saw that what, you know, what he liked about the franchise, about the character, was all the things that I really loved about the first one. And so that got me even more excited as I remember coming home to my wife and going, well, it, all the things that I was worried about, all the things that I'm stressing about, like, because I want to change this and McLean was always this to me, that this is all the same stuff that Bruce wants to do, you know? And so that was an energy that I was like, okay, let's go and just jump into this thing. And I know that I've got, you know, the guy that's, you know, going to, be there to help me pull off and, and you know, because it's a lot of, it's a big task. It's a lot of, you know, going to going to bat for certain things and he had my back on, you know, on going about doing the die hard that we wanted. Okay, what, um, what unique challenges did this present you at this point of your career to revisit this character? Well, from a, from a career standpoint, uh, if a, a year ago, right now, this, this was a huge risk for me to take. It was a, it was a huge, the, the potential to fail was certainly out there. Um, I was much reassured and a after talking to Len, after uh, working on the script all last summer, you know, before we started shooting. Um, it was a lot of pressure, obviously, but we had great goals, you know. We, we knew what we wanted to do and we knew what we wanted to make and Fox gave us the, the time and the money and the tools to, to allow Len to bring the film into the uh, into the 21st century, excuse me, I got the hiccups, and also to do the stunts when we could have done the stunts in a CGI way, you know, because it's so cheap now to do computer-generated images, to do the stunts in an old-school way, and that's all right, we'll give you a little bit more. To do the stunts in an old-school way, you know, and, and actually have me smashing and banging and falling out of cars and, and just doing what John McClane has always done and, you know, and getting a little getting a little bit of the hide taken off of him. When I heard that it was going to be a PG-13, mm -hmm. I thought I was going to miss all that fucking swearing that you do. That makes yeah. your character yeah. pretty cool yeah. as well, yeah? But I actually didn't. I actually, you know, I actually thought it still had enough action in there, and the swearing, I didn't miss that much. Did that pose any kind of difficulties for you? Not, not, I mean, yes, but later, but I didn't direct a PG-13 movie, so that was the, you know, I, right. I directed a rated R movie, and um, because it was always up in the air about whether or not it was going to be yeah. PG-13 or R. So for me, when I, when I first heard about it, it talks about the possibility, and then people ask me, well, how do you feel about it being PG-13? I said, honestly, good luck to them who have to yeah. rate it PG-13 because it's, I, I directed an R-rated movie. And we never thought about it. And it's so hard to, to, to say these lines and not say fuck every other word. So there is a version of this film that's out there that, that, I uh, see. that you'll want to see yeah. and everybody yeah. will, will want to see. And, and look, if you, need to hear, if you need to hear me say fuck a thousand times in a film, then this may not be the film for you. You know, attendance isn't compulsory, but what we replaced all that with is a real smash mouth, old school, big stunts, big, a lot of blood, big crazy stuff in there. So uh, we, 
didn't shoot a rating. We shot a Die Hard movie, and, and it uh, you know it turned out pretty well. It worked, man. It worked definitely. Cool. Thank you. Okay, cool. I better yeah. One yeah. more. One give more, us, give us your okay, best. Give us your you. best right, shot. Okay. Um, in your opinion, what impact would you say the character John McClane has had on action cinema? Wow. Oh man. I mean, I think it's philosophical. It's, it's, I mean, if I, I'll take this from a from from growing up with it. It was it, um, it was groundbreaking. Len was sixteen when the first film came out. He's given me a year. <laughs> I, it, it, it was. It was. Um, uh, it was groundbreaking. I remember. It was. Uh, it, for me, it was the first time that you felt like you 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 really cared about the, the 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 action hero because he felt like a real guy, and he he would bitch and moan and just, uh, he hated being there. But you really sympathize with that because you say, man, shit. If I was in that situation, I wouldn't want to be there. And he was always somebody that I think from that point on, this this kind of vulnerable hero or the the the, the guy that is is a hero because he's he, he rises above the circumstance that he's in. Um, that was a that was a big thing. Plus the um, just the the tone of the movie I think was at least in my experience was the first time that I'd seen a relationship between the good guy and the bad guy the way that, that it was with Hans yeah. that had never been done before where yeah. I also really liked the bad guy when the bad guy died I thought I don't really want to see him die you know yeah. yeah Alan Rickman uh, really brought as much to the first film as I did without him it would have been a totally different film uh, the fact that he was so sophisticated and so slick and I was still able to get to him you know and let that South Jersey attitude that I showed up with, give him a little dig, you know, and, 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 you know, let him have it. I think that audiences can relate to this, you know, and, and can relate to my character going, I don't want to be here, I don't want to be doing this, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off, I'm tired, I'm cranky, I'm irritable, and yet I'm still doing what I'm, you know, doing. And uh, there is a, a, a part of the mythology of Die Hard that, you know, John McClane uh, it has a healthy disrespect for authority. He's got a mad, crazy South Jersey sense of humor, uh, you know, gallows humor. And loves his family, loves his country, and is not going to let anybody hurt an innocent person. And I always love that about this character. That's why it was so much fun to, you know, come back to it. Bomb, man. That is the bomb. Thanks. Brilliant. Thanks. I loved it. Cool. Thank you. Well, Great talk. Well. Amen.